Members of Parliament expressed confidence in the Ministry's ability to effectively execute the budget and sustain efforts towards infrastructural development. Currently, we are busy with the first 10 classrooms of a brand new primary school in Rehoboth Urban West. My gratitude goes out not only to the Ministry, but also to the people of Rehoboth who stood by the elected councillor and said we are not going to leave it here, we are going to fight until we get a school. The site on Monday morning, I can tell you that my people of Rehoboth are employed at that site because we are fighting for our people in Rehoboth. And, and they are building that school and I'm so glad that the Ministry of Education did their job. I applaud them for doing their job. The Minister should also consider investing in ICT rollout, in mostly in secondary schools, through the development of computer laboratories, well equipped with computers, in order to promote research at secondary level and innovation in our secondary schools. In conclusion, if this budget is put to good use and well executed, then it will put the learners at the center of learning. I'm a bit worried that you still find teachers that have, learners that have been taught in checks. It can't be right. My first intervention is that the ministry should prioritize <coughs> constructing classroom and also to put a moratorium to stop the construction of these temporary structures. Because currently now it has become a norm. In other schools, whenever there's a challenge, they just construct a shack at school and it, it, it can't be right. I applaud the Minister of Education for making some of the school to have community hostels where teachers take care of these children. I want to applaud the Minister of Edu Education uh, for allocating an amount that has changed the universal uh, grant to the children. As we speak now, the pre-primary and the primary school learners, pay learners this year is going to get 300. It's to a change from 200 to 300. Yolene Shiapela, NBC News, Vanduk.